Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one today. So I am really excited to do this video today because it is going to be a get ready with me. My boyfriend is the best man in his brother's wedding. And this is going to be like our first outing really second actually because yesterday we went to a baby shower and that was the first outing and then today is the wedding so we've been together for like a year but i i'm just like i've been such a homebody and with covid i have not been anywhere so really excited to get ready with you guys and show you my outfit and everything i'm going to be wearing today so if you want to just hang out and get ready with me or unready Keep watching this video let me know what you think and if makeup is your therapy and your love if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with another enthusiast that feels the same way definitely consider joining the community because i'd love to have you back all right let's get started All right, you guys, so I am getting ready for this wedding. So I just wanna show you kind of everything. This is my dress and it is a midi wrap dress from Fashion Nova. It was super cheap because they were having like 40% off. I really haven't been to any type of events, weddings. I have not even been to a restaurant since before COVID. It's been years at this point. So I did need to order a new dress. Now these are cut kind of small. This is a size large, but I would say I'm probably about a size 10 right now, I'm trying to get back down to an eight, but that is a whole nother story. And underneath of it, cause that's always an issue. First of all, it's got this wrap situation here and a high slit, but then, wait a minute, I'll show you. It's, well, not really a slit but this is the other side of the, the wrap. So this doesn't have a high slit, but it does go up pretty high in the middle. So undergarments are going to be very, very important, the appropriate undergarments. And on top of that, because of this material, this like, I don't know, like it's a spandex type material, it shows every bump, every wrinkle, every, everything so what i'm going to be wearing underneath i actually have one now ah, right here okay those are like the assets um shorts but they come all the way up to like right under your bra so they smooth you out really really well but the shorts are a little long so i kind of have to strategically roll them up a bit higher so that when i walk you don't see the shorts okay let's talk you'll see my jewelry in the video part but uh let's talk about the shoes really fast yes i wish i was wearing these but i'm not i'm actually wearing these shoes i'm wearing these vince commutos now these are like a little kitten heel y'all you know what this is all i got this is all i got really that's gonna match i did not purchase any shoes and I don't think I've worn heels in the past three years. So this will be fun. And hopefully there's no cobblestone because mm, me and cobblestone. Now, when we get to the reception, I'm just going to put on these things here. These are like nine West. I mean, it's nothing, you know, really special. So yes, that is what I'm going to be doing. And shoot, I'm excited. I happen to have a clutch that matches the shoes so i don't really know if all this matches i don't really care about matching anyway so that's 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 just how i am might do lashes not sure now let's talk about my polish i did paint my nails and i painted my toes with my dior nightbird polish that i found on macari not too long back and it's just a beautiful green kind of gold green metallic which i am in love with and then for the fragrance today i am using two from my house of siage sampler so this is benevolence oh my goodness well, you see, I'm almost done. And this one will sale for 60% off, so I ordered the full size. I just had to. I really love this. It's just, it really is a fragrance that brings a sense of comfort in the smell. It is so beautiful, but I think it pairs really well with Emerald Rain. Emerald Rain kind of reminds me of mm, more of a sandalwoody type smell. I don't know, I think sandalwood goes with everything. I think that's what it has in it. So these two will go together 
for uh, the scent today. And I am really excited, you guys. So this is the outfit. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into this makeup. All right, you guys, so now that you've seen my outfit and everything, we're gonna go ahead and get into the look. I did wanna show you my earrings. So I do have on, these are kind of like safety pin earrings. They're not like your traditional safety pin but I am obsessed with safety pins. And then I have on this safety pin necklace as well. So yes, really excited. And I always have on my Pandora bracelet. I finally brought that out and um, put that back on. And my Apple Watch, cause I gotta track my steps. That, that doesn't stop. Now, oh yeah, that'll be good. Hopefully if there's some good music. So yes, let's go ahead and get ready. Let me tell you what I've already done to my face. I have on my Beauty Pie moisturizer and my Tatcha sunscreen serum. And then I did my eyebrows. I use my two products that I always use. This is the Maybelline Express Brow Pencil in black brown. And then I do like some, I use that to kind of structure out the brows, fill it in a little bit, but then I use the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in espresso just to try to make those hair like strokes and I let that dry. And then to set my brows, I use the Patrick Ta Major Brow Lamination Gel. And that's just been my go-to strategy for a while. It's just really tough to do on camera. I don't know, my brows and I, like sometimes they come out fine. Sometimes I'm like, no. So it, it just depends on the day. Today they're all right. So now that I've let my sunscreen kind of absorb, we're gonna go ahead and get into the complexion. And this isn't gonna be much different than what I normally do if you've seen me do a get ready with me. I don't really have a lot of those. Now today, I'm going to be using my Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Foundation. And whatever I use is nine times out of 10 in conjunction with my Auric Glow Lust. And I think compared to, well not think, but compared to the Chanel foundation, cause that's more of a skin tint. And then the, what's the other one? The NARS, cause those are the ones I really go back and forth between. I think this may be the fullest coverage, even though this isn't full coverage either. But I think this one has a heavier coverage. I do have the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation and I find myself not reaching for that a whole lot because I feel like it's more yellow and I don't know, I mix it at times, but we're gonna go ahead with this combo today. I'm not gonna use as much glow lust. It is hot here in Baltimore. I don't know what the weather's gonna be today. Now this wedding is gonna be near the water. I don't know if it's inside or outside, so we're just gonna be careful. This is a thick product, so I already put too much. So that was not a good idea. Okay, so like one pump is enough and this is like one and a half and I did not mean to do that, but that's okay because I'm using a sponge and that means that the sponge is gonna absorb um, a lot of it. Now for the Lisa Eldridge, these pumps are pretty small. So that's one pump right there and I'm just gonna do two more actually. And again, using the sponge, a lot of this product is going to be absorbed so I you know don't have skin issues to be honest with you I do get some acne here and there like whiteheads but I used to have a bigger issue with the whiteheads like when I first started my channel so there's not a lot to cover up I do have some you know circles here I don't sleep very well and what else you know I have freckles and stuff but I don't mind those showing through the foundation especially like I like my freckles. I like the ones on my nose and everything. So, you know, but I know like for pictures and things like that, I just want to have a nice flawless and dewy base. I know some people like matte, but I think matte makes me look dry and, and ashy. So, um, yeah, I like to have a, a dewy base. So I'm just giving my skin a nice amount today, probably more than usual, just because I'm going to the wedding and Oh, I do want to spray this. Although I dampen my sponge, I like to spray it with a setting spray and I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Vitamin C Spray to help set the foundation in for the day. Like I said, I don't know if we're gonna be outside or inside, but like it, it's pretty, like yesterday wasn't too bad, it was in the 80s, but that baby shower, I don't know, it felt so hot where we were 
but my makeup held up really nicely. So I'm just gonna do the same technique and already, you know, I just feel like that looks nice. It looks even. Just gonna do one more little bit of the Lisa Eldridge foundation just to build up the coverage a little bit. And this is shade 21 in case you were wondering. And I think this is a really good match. So that's gonna be the foundation. Now for my concealer, I'm gonna be using the Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer by LYS Beauty. And this is the shade MG5. So that's it here. And I wanna use a full coverage concealer today. So just gonna go ahead. This is a really good one. And I am putting on a little extra today. I'm gonna put a little here because sometimes it gets red. And I think my chin looks pretty good. I always have this uh, spot here, which is just a little bit of hyper pigmentation. I feel like it always still shows through the concealer, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for kicks. And then we're gonna use the sponge to go ahead and tap that in too. Now I do have a concealer brush that I like, but uh, right now I'm just gonna go ahead with the sponge. And just lightly, lightly, lightly tap it in here and lightly tap in the eye area. And I do feel as though this concealer has a nice full coverage and it is not cakey or anything. Let me know if you've tried this one. Just gonna get in the corner here. And I think that looks pretty good. And I love this because you can see that there's just a nice radiance with this concealer that I really like. So now in order to set the under eye, I'm gonna go into the Pat McGrath Labs Under Eye Blurring Powder in yellow. And this is a highlighter brush by Juvia's Place. And I like using this for the under eye. Now I've put a nice dent in this powder. It's very powdery, so it's probably not hard to do. See all that? So you just have to make sure that you tap this off so that you're not putting on too much. And then what I do is just like to tap it in. I know some people put this all over their face and you can do that. And I know when I've had enough when I don't feel my fingers catch. That's how I check. I don't know if that's a good method, but then I kind of just stop there because you don't want to have too much. Well, I feel my finger catch. I'm like, I need a little bit more. Once it can go smoothly across, then I think that's enough. And there's my under eye, and I think it looks really, really good. Just takes away like just the little darkness that was there before. I never really realized. I'll never forget when I went to go get matched for foundation for the first time at Ulta, and it was for the Stila. Um, it was like the foundation and concealer little duo that they have. The person was like, you know, your bags aren't that bad. And I was like, I have bags? And now I, I realize it. <laughs> but I mean, I was younger then, but still not that much younger. But yeah, I was like, wait, no, I don't have bags. I'm like, girl, you got bags. Okay. And that's okay. We all got bags. Mm -hmm. So next in the routine, so next for my routine, I go into bronzer. Today, I think I'm gonna pull out the Rare Beauty Happy Soul bronzer. This color's a little light, but this is a nice bronzer. I'm really liking the idea of a bronzer stick, so I do think I'm going to be trying out the LYS bronzer stick. Um, I'm, I'm really interested in trying that out. So I'm just going to kind of go up in the hairline and you can see this is not gonna be, like I don't get really deep bronzers. I know some people do and they have a lighter complexion than me, but I don't really try to go for that super snatch look. I don't know. I have like a chipmunk face, so I probably could do some snatching, but I don't know. I just know I have chipmunk, like chipmunk cheeks. And I accept them. I mean, I feel like they keep me young. So like, I feel like everybody looks like an animal, like some type of animal. And I feel like I would be, if I was an animal, I would be a chipmunk or a squirrel. Like one of those. That's just how I feel. And I'm gonna take my Rare Beauty A507 brush, bronzer brush, to just kind of stamp this in and blend this up and this just gives the warmth back 
to the face and I love that like right around the perimeter and I'm just going really lightly with this because I feel like like I said since I could have gone darker this one has the potential to actually blend away if I like go too hard with it but I think this is really nice and it really melts into your skin and it blends really beautifully maybe I can I was gonna say I could get this in a different color, but I don't need to go overboard. Like this has been the year of bronzers, seriously. So I need to relax. The LYS looks good though. I, I'm liking the bronzer stick. I like cream bronzers, but I think for placement purposes, a stick is just more convenient and easier. It's just easier. Cause I love my Chanel bronzer that comes in the little tub. I like my Fenty cream bronzer. I love my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand, but um, the contour wand is really good. That is really good. But I like this stick. I love, I love this actually. Hmm. I'm glad I brought this out today. So hopefully you can see that I'm looking a little more bronze. And then once I get dressed, I might just put a little down here, but everything matches, I think. So as long as, you know, as uh, Nikki Raven says, your foundation matches your neck, we're good to go. All right, that's it. Now, for blush, I am gonna go with my tried and true Pat McGrath Desert Orchid. I also wanted to bring this out, uh, has another purpose. I, oh, where's my, oh, here's the brush. I am just looking at the new Pat McGrath shades and just seeing if I think any are gonna have this type of vibe. I, this is one of my favorite blushes. I would say all time favorite blushes. I think, mm, I was gonna say, I think Desert Orchid goes with everything, but that's not true because I wore Desert Orchid with a pink eye look last week and I was not pleased. So no, I'm not gonna say that. But I will say it goes with most of my looks. Now I'm taking, an uh, Unearthly Cosmetics A1 brush. Ah, like those Pat McGrath blushes do look so good. I don't know, they just really do. The three, the bottom three. I think the brownie one is called Paradise Glow. And then there is the, what is it called? Night Bloom or something. It's like red and purple or something. Oh my gosh, those two. And then there's a coral one that's like brown and pink. And, and it's funny because the two blushes that I mix all the time, and this isn't brown, but it, it is more brown. The two blushes I mix all of the time by Pat McGrath are this one, Desert Orchid, with Nude Venus. That is my combo, that brown pink. That's why I'm like, ah, oh, I really think I would like that. Now, I don't need any more blushes from any brand, let alone Pat McGrath. I'm putting a little on my nose because I like a little red nose effect sometimes. Yeah, it might make me look cold, but I like it. And I am going a little heavier with Desert Orchid because I think Desert Orchid gives you more of that bronzy type glow. And I'm putting it over here. Like most blushes, I really like try to keep out here um, because, you know, depending on just how, how your face sits, you know what I mean? Like most people do all this, when they do the blush and then when they their face drops then the blush is too low but with desert orchid i think desert orchid is just you could never have too much desert orchid that's how i feel anyway oh that brown pink one that might be the one all right anyway look at the dewiness that's there like for no reason no highlighter, no nothing. But I am going to try a little bit of a highlighter today and it's new. So let's get into that. Okay y'all, so I'm excited. This is Skin Glass and this is by Nor Face. Her brand is called Skin Glass Beauty and if you recall, this was the brand that was um, kind of accusing, not kind of, accusing Natasha Denono for stealing the concept of skin glass. Natasha Denono is something my friend Monique always says here on YouTube. Anyway, I love Natasha Denona, uh, her products, and we are gonna get into an eyeshadow palette in a minute. But this is a healing, highlighting, antioxidant face oil. You are supposed to shake it well. This is the OG, oh shit, it's 10 o'clock. I gotta stop playing around. Okay, we gotta stop playing. I gotta leave in 15 minutes. Um, this is the OG. So here's what it looks like. 
I am just gonna take a little bit on my hand. It is rather gold, and now I'm kind of wishing, should I have gotten the rose gold? But we are gonna try this out. I am gonna take it on my hand, and I'm going to just start over here and tap. Oh yeah. And I don't know if you can see that because I can't look at the camera, but I am just gonna go ahead and tap it here. Let me do a little bit on the nose. I know some people don't like nose highlight, but I do just a little bit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Don't wanna do too much. And I just wanna make sure, just when you use these liquid ones, that's why I wanted to try the rose um, ink cream one, but I don't really need to do anything with anybody's highlighters okay and even though these have oils in them they are not greasy so i just don't want you to think that because this is a healing highlighting oil that it feels greasy because this um this has grapeseed jojoba and neem oil all of those are very good healing oils and actually i use jojoba oil i've used jojoba grapeseed oil is really good for your skin i mean all three of them are but I know I've used like the jojoba oil in my hair as well. So yeah. And neem oil, I use neem too. Cause what I do is sometimes I would mix these with my essential oils, which I need to restock a bunch of essential oils. But uh, anyway, that's neither here nor there. But see this blends right into the skin. So you can't even really see a, a lot of gold I was kind of nervous about that but yes this is really adding to what I am I am feeling this today the base of my face is done I'm gonna go ahead and do a set with this Pacifica vegan collagen hydrating setting mist and what I love about this one is the sprayer like the urban decay sprayer I don't know if something's wrong with it but like it's not even this one is like a mist, like a fine mist, and I'm into that. So we're gonna get ready to get into the eye look. I am grabbing my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden, and just gonna put a little here on the eye. Now this eye look for the wedding, and it's daytime, it's not gonna be like super dramatic or anything like that. So I'm just gonna stamp this in, and this is gonna be quick, y'all, because I just, realize what time it is and I need to stop playing games with myself and everybody else. So going into the Natasha Denona mini gold palette, which was a gift from my sister Ariel. So thank you. And we're going to go ahead and get this eye look going. We're going to start with BK Beauty A502 brush. And we're gonna go into this transition shade here. I don't even have time to get into names or anything like that today. Gonna just go ahead and use this to pretty much set down that primer. And you can see that actually has a lot more pigment than I thought. It is a cool taupe. And I think this is gonna be a perfect transition and segue into the next shade that I'm gonna use, which is gonna be an earthy green tone. And again, just trying to keep this light today. I feel like Tyrone's gonna be calling me soon, like, did you leave yet? I cannot be playing around. Oh, I'm probably not gonna have time to do no lashes today because I'm playing. Let's go into this green. I was, I really was. I thought that would have been a nice effect, but it's gonna be in effect for another day. The lashes aren't gonna make or break this look cause like the whole outfit put together is so gorgeous. Let's get a little bit of this on the inner lid as well as the outer and bring it out. This is the deepest matte that's in this mini palette. And I, I think that's cool. You can use, there's a, a deep shimmer in here as well if you wanna kinda smoke out that outer corner, but I am not gonna be uh, using that today. So I have a little opening here in the center of the lid and I'm gonna go right into the gold with my finger. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this or try to keep this as a halo situation or not. I'm just gonna see where it takes me. I'm just tapping that in here. 
so beautiful. This is a beautiful palette. And I did recently acquire the, the regular size gold palette and I was gonna use that today, but I can't find it and y'all know how that goes. It will be found, but just not today. So I thought it would be great to go ahead and use this and I can come back with the gold palette in a subsequent video. Yeah, let's just try to keep this little halo-y. Just like that, real earthy. Going into my Refer 26 brush, back into our transition shade, which was that cool taupe. Taking it underneath the lower lash line, all the way across. Because again, it's daytime. I'm not trying to do too much. I do have a little bit of fallout from the gold shade under this eye and that's all right because i'm gonna try to whisk it away let's take a little bit of that gold and just stick it in the inner corner i was gonna grab something else but there's nothing to grab because i gotta go that's our inner corner highlight here and look i look real dewy y'all here is the eye look now for lips i'm gonna come back i so I was thinking about the shade Nile by Juvia's Place. Let's see. I think that looks good, but my gut is telling me I need my Lisa Eldridge Velvet Affair. So I'm gonna come back with the, the final look and um, I'll get some footage later on, like of my whole outfit, but I'm gonna go ahead and come back and wrap this video up because I'm running out of time. Okay, y'all, I am back with the final look and then I have to skedazzle. Here it is. So for the eyeliner, I don't have it, sorry y'all. Uh, I have the Linda Harburg Grige Core. It's a gray beige liner and I just put it on the lower lash line. I thought it picked up really nicely with this kind of earthy green that I have on. And I did, I, I like that I went with my gut about the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Affair. Now that is a go-to lipstick that I can wear with any and every look. I think it's like a perfect nude shade. It's deeper than the natural pigment of my lips, but I, I just love it. It is a perfect shade for me. So that is it, y'all. I'm gonna try to include some footage from the wedding. Oh, I have some sunglasses too. I have the, these are by Free People. Look at these, cute. Cute. I don't know what I'm wearing these today. But, uh, I guess if I'm walking outside at some point or maybe driving, I don't know. Oh God, I'm dropping everything. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna cut to some other pictures or footage, but. Yeah. <laughs> 
you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me today. I had a lot of fun playing with this makeup and just hanging out and getting all dolled up because it is kind of a rare opportunity right now uh, that I'm going anywhere, but it's gonna be a fun day. I am really excited, so let me get out of here. I hope this was therapy for you. It definitely was for me. So until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all really soon. Bye. Go block your ears.